All right, welcome back to Nifty Network. Uh, today we have a Toyota Crest on the lift. Um, the reason that we're doing this video is because when this car came in, the clutch was done. Like it was slipping super bad. So we're like, okay, we need to put a clutch in this car. What clutch is in it? We couldn't figure it out. So uh, basically we put it on the lift, dropped the trans, and then we figured out it was either R154 or a W58. Um, and if we go to the trunk, so the reason that the trans is in the trunk is because we dropped it and we had to order parts for the correct trans once we figured out what it was. So once you get to right here, um, this is this was our little learning guide right here. Basically, we figured out that we have a W58 in here. Um, and the reason that we figured that out is because we measured, uh, well, first we measured the sandwich plate right here and that came out to, um, so here's, here's a little picture comparison. W58 sandwich plate width, uh, W58 sandwich with plate. The plate on the W58 is eight and a half inches. The R154 is nine and a half inches um, across. So we found out that we had the W58 and then also these three ribs right here. That is what a W58 has. And the R154 only has two strengthening ribs and on the left hand side of the main body of the trans. So this one's got three and the R154 has two. Also the Shifter housing is a little different. Um, these ones are a bit shorter. So yeah, the R154 is longer, has a different shape to it, but, but nobody has any of that info online. I mean, they do, but it's just really hard to find. So that's why we're making this video for you guys. I didn't know that we we're actually getting a new flywheel, so I haven't taken that off the car yet. Uh, we will compare, sorry, I'm probably blinding you. Uh, we will compare both of those, make sure they're the same. And yeah, get this. Get this thing uh, not slipping anymore. All right, so we got the clutch kit all laid out, and um, you can actually, if you come here, come here, come here, if you click that link right there, and you have a W58, you're all dialed now. Just click that, order that, and you're done. Um, all these parts actually look really quality. Uh, it was fairly priced, and let's get her in. All the <laughs> dust material flying off of my face. <laughs> <laughs> got it all right so we pulled the old pilot bearing out of it and now it's time to put the new one in um i always just kind of wipe in here just give a give a little wipe make sure no dust is in there and on the bushing when you're when you're pressing in a bearing there's a bunch of balls in there on the black part you don't want to press on that so you need to find a socket or something that will actually sit on the metal part because that's the sleeve that you want to go in you don't want to you don't want to hit from the center or the black part you want to go from the outside so this one ended up being a 22 socket that fits good so we'll set it in there and then we will tap it in there we go <clears throat> so we got that in there and then always just double check make sure Make sure that the inside um, bearing spins and it's not all like grindy or like notchy feeling. Okay, so you may you may notice that I'm putting the old flywheel on. Uh, it's, we got a little got a little too excited right off the bat. The flywheel that came in our kit is actually a different flywheel. So um, I'll show you over here. This hole right here. This hole is bigger on the one that we ordered, but the clutch disc has the same spline on this um, as the old one. So it slides on the trans. Come on. It slides on perfectly. So I check distances from the clutch plate to the pressure plate. And on the new pressure plate, it doesn't line up to the uh, new flywheel. That being said is the clutch disc is the same so the clutch was clearly the issue you can see like right there like the rivets have already been getting like glazed over and scratched so basically when that happens your clutch is slipped and it's bad so we're gonna put the new disc in because it fits on the spline and it fits in the old pressure plate that's basically kind of a little update of what we're going through and that's kind of what just happens i mean this is a it's a Cresta. It was already hard enough to find out what trans was in it. And we got this car from Japan. 
So it's just like, that's kind of what goes on with uh, when you buy a car from Japan. I mean, especially that doesn't have like all the hype, like the JZX100 or the Soar or just like the Skylines. Like people know there's so much more like hype around those cars and not the Cresta. So it's kind of just like a trial and error thing. So what's going on? Uh, basically, I got Zach on the front of the crank because we're torquing the flywheel down. But if I don't have him there, then the flywheel or the crank essentially will just spin. So we're torquing these to 54 and then the clutch itself gets torqued to 14. I am putting some grease on this and then I'm going to slide in the trans and then grease up the old shafteruni on that side. So that's all lined up. Pull that back out. I like to grease all contact points. Like wherever wherever there's going to be a lot of friction, I just I like to grease it. D shaft going in. Oh, that's so cool. How does it feel? Bro, it feels, feels really good. And it doesn't spin when it's in neutral with the clutch out. Okay, so basically, like I can't see that side right now, but I got my foot off of the brake and it's not rolling, right? Right. Watch, and then I'm gonna engage the clutch. Rolling. Right now, right? So that's gas, yeah. and then here's clutch, so it should slow down. Yeah. Right, and it's not moving at all? Nope. Yeah, then it works. Ah. So. Nice. <laughs> that was sick. She worked, bro. Okay, so so basically the disc fit, all the tolerances were the same. Let's do it on, let's take it on like an actual test drive now. And I mean, there's no reason that it doesn't work. that's good so what did you just do to this car well ran into a slight dilemma um this this header bolt so rust japanese cars sheldon they don't they don't mesh right so i went to put the bolt on and i put it on by hand and i was tightening it and the bolt snapped in the header so i had to drill it out retap it got all that situated so now the exhaust is good this is back together. The car is literally done. I just have to put the heat shield back on it from the top. So we'll go down and then uh, put the intake back on it and go drive it and see. That was like an hour ordeal. I don't know if you guys have ever snapped a bolt in your header, but it sucks. Like, yeah, you, you missed all the drill bits and the dremels and the taps, but we should be good now. Hey, you want to go to McDonald's or do you want to go to Jomo? I don't know what that says and how to get there, but we can go this way. Let's try it. Hot your bottle now. <laughs> oh, we're flying. No, it's kilometers now. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> so smooth. Bro, it's so smooth. It's like a... Wow. It's literally like a magic carpet riding this thing. Bro, and that bump we just hit is like, in my car, aggressive. Like, it's literally like... <laughs> And this thing just ate it up. Yeah, no, this thing's good. She's dialed. You know what's funny is I normally hate these, like these bubble shift knobs. Yeah. But since I literally know that it came from Japan, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the clutch is in. And even though we weren't able to use all the parts, we know now that the W58 clutch has the same amount of splines and the disc is the same. So obviously in the future, we'll change the flywheel and get the correct pressure plate, but the car drove great and it's kind of cool like making a not a bad situation but a a bad situation into like a working car so um that's exciting uh that's gonna end it on today's video on w58 and r154 and hopefully i don't break any more header bolts goodbye <laughs>